You all right? Mm. Yeah. This is what a funny woman looks like. <laughs> I love it. But there's more to that. So explain to everyone who you are and why you're a funny woman. Okay. Well, I'm not very funny, really. <laughs> I, I'm the founder of an organisation called Funny Women. We're a non-profit organisation that supports women into their comedy careers, whether they want to perform, write comedy, create comedy. Um, the focus of that are the Funny Women Awards, which I've been running for 20 years. Wow. Congratulations. I'm, I'm 80, really. <laughs> no. No, no. no. I am quite old, 25. but I'm not. No, yeah, <laughs> I wish. Um, but I've been doing it for a long time. Uh, and alongside Funny Women, we do a lot of training and coaching. And that work has also evolved into corporate work. So we work with organizations, companies, uh, of all sorts, actually, literally from <laughs> NatWest Bank to Airbnb. We go in and do kind of the same sort of things that we do to train people to go into comedy. We, we do for companies. So about around confidence building, public speaking, all the stuff that goes around business where a sense of humor or the use of humor is important. Amazing. Um, and obviously, uh, one of the most important things we do, we work with FSB as well. Yeah. I'm a, the North Kent rep for FSB, get a plug in there. Uh, and we've done a lot of things with them and the local council, Medway Council. We've run um, a program called Comedy in the Community because there is a, a real drive now to get more women into public life yeah. and to show them that they can be empowered through using, being more relaxed around humour and it gives you life skills and makes you memorable and all the stuff that we know but don't always address. Get a bit worried yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. I think as women, we're very much more self-conscious. Yes. Wanting people to like us. Mm, yeah. And so actually, like, yeah. Yeah, teaching, that's okay. Yeah. Like, I mean, we don't, really, we don't really teach people either. I think a lot of it's about facilitating what's already there. I always say to the women that come to my workshops, you're already funny. You know, it's not... You don't have to try to be funny. And, I, you know, we are... Women are inherently funny. We use humour... Oh, in a yeah. we have to, yeah, because life is life tough. Hard. Yes, like I'm with and, you. Uh, yeah, and I think women use humour in a very different way to men. Yeah. So if you translate that into a business environment, that that is where it's most relevant. I think. That, yeah. You know, and a lot of men are quite nervous around women that will use humour. Yeah. Um, and I think a lot of politicians, for example, would benefit from being more comfortable around humour. A lot of female politicians are quite serious. Um, I've just come back from the Edinburgh Fringe as well, and oh, wow. I was at, actually the last show I saw was um, a show by a woman called Noreen Skinner, who is the the Liz Truss impressionist. Oh, cool! And uh, <laughs> yeah, but Liz Truss is funny anyway, you yeah. know, in, not in a good way. But but yeah, I mean, a lot of the comedy that I see very much emulates what's going on in everyday life, and it's just how you can build that sort of balance between. What, we, what is socially acceptable in the world of comedy, some of it is also acceptable to the world of business. And, you know, how you use that humour in business is really what I'm all about. And I suppose, that, like, the story that goes with it as well, like, like we talk about, we listen to um, a radio show and he talks about, like, that he went for a dog walk the week, the day before oh, yeah. and things. And I think, what, how is this interesting? And he said, but you know what, I'm gripped. I'm, I'm yeah. listening to here and yeah. I thought, if I stood on the radio and talked about going for a dog walk, oh. it just would be black. Everyone would be like, why am I listening to you? But it's the way the story is told. And well, it's that podcasting, of course, is like partly the paint drying end of the world of comedy. <laughs> yeah. However, it's a wonderful medium for people to try out their storytelling skills. Yeah. I think the, you know, there's two schools of thought on podcasting. You could do the stream of consciousness stuff. Uh, like Blind blind Boy, I mean, that, that, the Irish guy, unbelievable. Uh, but he just is Irish and he just lilts along and tells these amazing stories. And then you have the other end of it, which are the highly polished, super edited, slick. Yeah, not, that's not yeah, hard. No. <laughs> well, I, I, I did do 32 episodes of my own podcast. I've, I've kind of put it on ice because a lot of other things to do. Yeah. But it's a lovely thing to do. I really enjoyed it. And we did go for the sort of slick, nicely edited routine. But I think people's tastes in podcasts have changed now. They're looking for short sound bites. And there is a market for the, 
you know, snappy 15, 20 minute advice yeah. thing. Um, and then there's a much bigger market for narrative. And certainly if I get my awards away this year, we will have a podcast category. Good. Yeah, so we fun. haven't had one up until now, but I think we had a little bit of breather. And when we go live again, definitely you have to put podcasts in the mix because a lot of women make very funny podcasts. So yeah. It's a really good category for us. I think like we say podcasting, obviously we're, we now niche on podcasts, mm. video podcasting and say that is, it's it's almost an oxymoron, isn't it? Yeah, it's video, video podcasting. podcasting. Yeah, I did say, is this what it's called? Is it not just a TV series? Uh, like it's a weird one, but uh, so I'm like, I'm just going to go with yeah. the flow. That, that's what it is. And people understand what it is. So, but it's, um, it is that thing of like re truly getting you across. Yeah. That's yeah. what we want is like, it's you that people fall in love with and yeah, okay, what you sell, what you're talking about, yeah. they want to know, but they could find that out from 10, 20 other people. I think with anything, whether it's a podcast or a speech you've got to do or, you know, an interview, just don't, humour is such an important part of it and you shouldn't cut it off. Don't think that because it's a funny thought in your head that you can't say it. I hate to do the gender thing, but men don't think like that. <laughs> <laughs> they don't, do they? Do they? No, no. no, no. Men will pretty much, a lot of men think they're hilariously funny. <laughs> oh, that's where the phrase dad jokes comes about. Even if they're not. <laughs> yeah, he's not. Um, and I have a lot of experience of that. But without getting into, I'm not, it's not a gender war thing. Women are just much more reticent about using humour. And when women use humour with their friends, I mean, you know, uh, a good example I always give, the worst audience for a female comedy show is a group of hen parties. Yeah. Because they're not really watching the comedy. They're really more interested in what they're all doing together. It's like a communal cackling, communal cackling I yes. call it, you yeah. know, Prosecco queens. Um, <laughs> they're not good at watching another woman on stage being funny. No. Um, and it's quite can be quite cruel. Whereas actually, in the re reverse of that, I mean, you have an all-female comedy show and you have loads of stag parties in, they bloody love it because women being funny on stage, A, they're not used to it and B, they're kind of like kind of wide-eyed about it. Oh, there's a woman on stage, she's being funny. Yeah. And then the women, really good female comedian can really rip Pick apart a stag. <laughs> I bet, I've yeah. seen some <laughs> over the years, I can tell you. So, you know, comedy is a very specific thing and people are very nervous around it. And there are... I've had a pound for every time someone says to me when I'm eating for the first time and they know what I do, they go, oh, I'm not funny. Yeah. And actually, I always say, everyone's funny. Everyone is funny in some way. It's fine. But you don't need to label it. Just be it, you know? Yeah. It's amazing. Fab. Remind everyone who you are, what your business is, and how they can get in touch. So I'm Lynn Parker. I'm the founder of Funny Women. You can get hold of me by looking at the website, which is <laughs> www.funnywomen, not woman, I'm woman today, women.com. Uh, and I'm on all the socials, either as Funny Women or Funny Women Lynn with an E. So I'm fairly easy to find. Amazing. We will snip this up and we'll put all those socials on there for you as well. Send it over. And we hope you have a wonderful day today at the Women of Business Show. Thank you. Thanks,